Students and staff at Holyoke Community Charter School are headed back to the classroom this week. Welcome to Western Mass News at 10. I'm Matt Satilli. This comes after the school made the call for remote learning this past week following a rise in cases in the school and the death of an eighth grader from COVID-19 complications. Western Mass News reporter Lexi Oliver spoke with city officials and she now joins us live in studio with more on how the city is planning to keep students safe. Lexi, what can you tell us? Well, Matt, the school received special approval from the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education to learn remotely this past week after they say more than 20 people tested positive for COVID-19 at the school. Now, Acting Mayor Terry Murphy is pushing for all parents to get their kids vaccinated against the virus. They're trying to take all the precautions. Obviously, they want their students and their staff to be safe. Holyoke Community Charter School will return to in-person learning Monday. This after they were granted special approval to learn remotely this week following more than 20 positive cases inside the school, including 8th grader Gigi Rodriguez, who tragically died at the age of 13 on October 22nd from COVID-19 complications. Acting Mayor Terry Murphy says while the school is independently run, it's been working closely with the city's Board of Health and the State Department of Public Health to ensure it's taking the right steps to keep students and staff safe. On Tuesday at the Hoyoke Health Center, there were approximately 200 people that got tested from the school. To be allowed in the building Monday, students and faculty must show proof of a negative COVID test. If they are unable to, they will continue to learn remotely. And everyone must remain masked up inside the building. Murphy also says the city has been working with pediatricians to encourage families to get their child vaccinated. And he says that's the city's best chance of returning to normal. Now with vaccines available for children 5 to 12, I just want to encourage not only the students at that school, uh, and the parents of those students at this, but the parents of every child. Uh, you know, consider the vaccine, get the vaccine, give your child the best chance of staying healthy. I would love to be able to have a press conference with pediatricians and have someone see, oh, that's my doctor saying that my kid should be getting this, uh, and then making it available in that doctor's office because, again, you know, they, they, they trust their doctors. And he tells Western Mass News the city is reaching out to popular youth programs to help get shots in children's arms. YMCA, I know, has been involved. I believe uh, South Hoyoke Neighborhood Initiative and the Winter Basketball League has been involved. And Murphy says citywide, Holyoke has seen a 4.5% increase in vaccinations over the last month. And in the last few weeks, positive cases have dropped about 60%, which, as we know, led the city to end its mask mandate. Live in studio, Lexi Oliver, Western Mass News.